So. Sí, pero primero Dios, vas a ir adelante. Bye. Bye. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Hi. Thanks. How is everything going? I'm fine. Fine. Good. <laughs> Are you tired? It's hot today. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday and the day before, it was really hot here. But it, um, at night, it rained and it feels better. Yeah. Sí, también aquí, rain, yes, last night. Yeah. yeah. But today is hot. Hot. Yeah, I understand that feeling. <laughs> yeah. I don't like hot weather. No? No. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How are you doing, Jorge Alexis? Yeah, I'm fine, teacher. Good. And you, teacher? I'm doing good. Oh. Yeah. Always something to do. Every day is a busy day. <laughs> Visit? Busy. Eso. Busy. Todos ah. los días son días ocupados. Ah, yeah. Busy day. Mm -hmm. yeah. But a lot of things to do. Yeah, I have a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work. Uh, no. No. See, sí. yes. How many yes, grades do you have? Sorry? How many grades do you have? I second grade. How many students? Uh, 20, 29. 29. 19 in presence, mm -hmm. 10 in life. Mm -hmm. But eight don't don't read. Read. They don't read. They don't work. Today is difficult because today I work. A, that a, a student don't have vowels. Oh yeah. I think it's gonna be really hard. Education yeah. is going down. Yeah. And we have to just try try to do our best and let it be. Yeah. Thank you, Papi. Mention this has been fun. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. How are you doing? I'm ready for the class. <laughs> I had a problem with my car, but I am here. Okay. Oh, that's good. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> Today is the day that you class ready? English. <laughs> are you ready to fix uh, the problem? Yeah, I'm so so. Right. Um, yeah, that happens. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Joanna, Beatriz? I am fine. Mm -hmm. Good. How is the family? Um, they are very well. They are uh -huh. very well. Good. Very well. <laughs> nice. Mama. Good evening, teacher. Fatima, Herbert, Elena, Edwin. 
It's eight o'clock and we have a ten. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Elina. Mm -hmm. And Adriana Guadalupe. Good. Hello. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to start because it's eight o'clock already, so we need to be on time. And I will have a little bit of things that we need to do today. So we need to keep going. Let me know if you don't have any problems looking at my screen. No problem, teacher. Perfect. Yeah, because sometimes it's kind of weird. So yesterday we were learning about the simple past and about the regular verbs. But the simple past is a little yeah. bit extended. So we're going to do um more of a simple past regular verbs and irregular verbs and we're going to learn some rules today about how to use those verbs but first we have to read our date and today is first day july 22nd 2000 21. 22, 22, 22nd. Second. Mm -hmm. Good job. You correct yourself. That's good. July 22nd, 2021 or 2021? 21. Okay. Now I want to see everybody saying it. Quiero ver a todos diciéndolo. Listos. Ready? Said today, today is Thursday, 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 July, 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 twenty second, twenty second, Right. Okay, we're going to go and continue. As you know, we were doing and we are continuing doing the simple past. And um, Ed, can you read what it says? Please? Simple Literature? past. Can you please read it? Okay. Simple past. Use the simple past to talk about an event that happened Sorry. <laughs> this Sorry, my laptop is touch and suddenly I touch ah. the screen and it changes. Sorry. Okay. Simple past. Use the simple past to talk about an event that happened in the past. Perfect. Okay, we are, we are talking about the past, things that already happened in the past. Thank you, Edwin. You did a good job. Now we have regular verbs and we have some rules. It says, help me to read. You, you can listen at home and then I'm gonna say it. You don't need to turn on your mic. No necesitan encender su micrófono, solo repitan después de mí. Regular verbs. Regular verbs. In the simple past. In the simple past. And in ed and ed and in and ed and uh, in ed mm -hmm. e but those are the regular verbs solo con los verbos regulares examples cook cook cooked. walk walk walked walk what? Well, mm -hmm. you can see I just add e d. I'm gonna use the 
gonna move these to here. I don't know why it moves. I don't want to move that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use my annotation and I'm gonna use the, this one. Okay. As you can see here, I add ED, just ED, cook, mm -hmm. cook, and it ends with K. When it ends with K, the sound is sounds like ah, t, t, como ah. una T, una T, pero el sonido en inglés se dice t. Mm -hmm. cook, cook, mm -hmm. walk, termina, it ends in K, and then I have to say walk. What? Mm -hmm. what? Todos digamos what? 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 Mm -hmm. what? 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 Like a no, como casi como una o what? And at the end, una t. What? Mm -hmm. what? Clean. What? Clean. That's with clean. 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 Ajá, eso suena como con una D. Uh -huh. Clean. Good. Clean. That's what ED. Now we're going to see. Help me reading. Ayúdenme a leer. If the base form ends, the base form ends, ends in E, e. add only add D. Add only D. Uh -huh. Why we have to add just the D? ¿Por qué creen que solo vamos a agregar la D? Porque termina en E. Exactly, because ends in E, we just need to add the D. Lovely now. She comes with all the power. Okay, like B, 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 Mm -hmm. That's the past. Baked. Liked. 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 Mm -hmm. I liked your picture. A smile. That's an smile. En pasado, a smile. That's what do, do at the end. It ends with it. But is the past, but we say it with do, do. So, some words, the sound is with t or d. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see the other words that are with ed, id, id. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. good. We're going to go to the next one. Can I go to the next one or do you, do you want to take a picture or something? Any questions about this one? Okay, what happened when the verbs end in E? Base form. Someone knows what a base form is. Alguien sabe cuál es la base forma del verbo. O oh, oh, la base, like the base form, es de dónde proviene. Por ejemplo, este verbo es base. El verbo está en presente. Entonces, esa es su forma original. Solo le agrego la D. Como de por ejemplo, cook, esa es la forma base del verbo, es la raíz del verbo. Pero ya cuando yo lo modifico, when I modify it to past, ya no es la forma original, sino que ya lo he modificado. Entonces, si yo digo la forma base o base form, es cuando no se le ha cambiado nada. Is the verb as it is. Or you are kind of, uh, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, that's very really important. Eso es súper importante. Vamos a ver. I want to say it in Spanish. ¿A qué me refiero cuando digo? The base form of the verb. ¿A qué me refiero cuando digo la forma base o la raíz del verbo? La forma original del verbo sin ninguna yeah, modificación. Exactly. 
the way it is without making any change. Thank you, Astrid. Mama so, key. is that clear? Mama thumbs up Mama. if you understood. Like thumbs in the middle if you are. I don't really understand. And thumbs down, and then you say, I don't know what she's talking about. Get away. Let me see. Pedo hacia arriba o medio así o como que no sé. Perfect. Good. <laughs> Harrison. Harrison, did you understand, Harrison? Harrison, are you new in the no, I think I, I saw you. Harrison Elias. So good. Joanna Araceli, is everything clear? Todo está claro? Yeah? Okay, we're gonna continue then. And I wanna share it again. Now the next rule. Okay, it says, it, these are regular verbs. I don't want you to get confused. That's why I have it on the top, regular verbs. Estos son los verbos regulares. It says, if the base form ends in, how do you say that word, that letter? Como se dice esa letter? Y. Y, M, C, A. It's like the song, Y. Mm -hmm. Why? So if the base form, when I said base form is the base form of the verb. And in why after a consonant, después, si termina en una Y, después de una consonante, change the Y to, to, say it again, say it, to a, which letter? I. I. Perfect. It's just Astrid in my class. <laughs> and I. And we are E? E. 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 Perfect. Oh, no, no. So, oh. here, this oh. one ends in a Y. 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 Yeah. Example, a study. So what we are going to change the study. word into an I. A studied. Mm -hmm. Studied. Mm -hmm. That one sounds like ED. A studied. Mm -hmm. So this one, the sound is like an, I'm going to write it here. E. ED, I think I'm gonna use the text better. <laughs> I wanna use the text because that one, I don't like it how it looks. I know that I cannot draw it well with that one. Okay, so which is the sound? We said the sound is like ED. Digamos todos, studied. Studied. A studied. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, this is carry. Carry, it ends in Y. Carry termina en Y. So we are going to add ED. Carried. Carried. Mm -hmm. So then that ends with, with, with T or with D. What is the sound that makes that? Carried. D -d -d. Alguien que me diga? Carried. 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 Mm -hmm. ¿Qué sonido tiene? ¿Tiene una T, una D o una ID? ID. Carried. 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 Mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿es con ID o, o con D? ¿Qué sonido tiene? ¿Es, es el sonido de la D? Ahora, copy, 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 uh -huh. copied, uh -huh. copied, copied. Uh -huh. good job, 
Este es con un sonido de una D. Ahora, cry. 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 ¿Qué sonido es? Cry. Uh -huh. Es con una cry. D. 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 Uh -huh. Good. Okay. Now, this is when we, when the verbs end in Y. Okay. Thumbs up if it is clear or down if it is not. Okay, good. Now we're gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna erase that one because I need to go to the next one. Necesito borrarla porque si no, no puedo ir a la siguiente. Me pasa la siguiente. Okay. Now. We're continuing with regular verbs. It says, if a regular verb... Take a picture, teacher. Huh? Give me a second, take a picture. Okay. I send it at WhatsApp group. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, oh. I'm gonna use... Finish. This one, and I'm going to erase it because this is confusing. Okay, good. It says, if a regular verb ends in a single vowel and a single consonant, ¿Cuáles son las vocales en inglés? Which are the vowels in English? A, 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 I, 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 O, U, O, U, U, I. Those are the vowels. So, this is a vowel. This is a vowel. Which vowel is this one? An, O. And then this is a? Consonant. Oh. Which are the consonants that we have? B, C, D, F, G, H. All the letters that are not a vowels are consonant. So in consonant. This, mm -hmm. in this case, we have it says if a regular verb ends in a single vowel and a single consonant, double the consonant, and add ed. ¿Qué ed. quiere decir eso? Uh -huh. eh, si un verbo duplica, termina... Uh -huh. En una consonante se duplica, si termina en una consonante antes de una vocal, o, o antes de una vocal, está, perdón, después de una vocal hay una consonante, se duplica la consonante y se agrega eh, D. Exactly, that's the key. So, that's why that's important for for spelling. Eso es importante cuando escribimos las palabras y cuando le, deletreamos palabras. Por ejemplo, stop, stopped. Uh -huh. Plan, planned. Uh -huh. Clap, clapped, 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 clap, clap. clap your hands. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is, as you can see, when we add another N because we have vowel consonant. In clap, we have vowel consonant. Clap. Clap. Uh -huh. So clap. we have to clap. double the last consonant. Tenemos que duplicar la última consonante cuando termina en vocal y consonante. And there are other ones that they have. Consonant, vowel, consonant. And it's the same. Okay? Okay, we're going to go to the next one. Can I move to the next one? I'm going to move to the next one. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now you're ready. It's your turn. If I have play, what is going to be the verb in past? I'm going to ask you to write it on the chat. And I can see. And then I'm, when you write it, I'm going to write it here to see if you're right. This is the past of play. 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 Mm -hmm. Lo pueden escribir, en, escríbanlo en el chat y yo después lo vamos a ver el pasado de play. Uh -huh. Played. Muy bien. And co is cold. Mm -hmm. And we can do the next one. So you were right. Okay, this is played. Played. Mm -hmm. Y la siguiente, cold, the next one, cold. Cold. I just add E D. Mm -hmm. Prepared. D. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Good, good. Worried. Mm -hmm. Married. Good. I see that you are doing it right. Okay, then. Recording in progress. Three. Prepare. No. I just added the D, the letter D. Hope. What is the characteristic of that one? Hope. What do I need to do? ¿Qué necesito hacer en esa? Repeat. Mm -hmm. Repeat Pero, the consonants. Uh -huh. Double the consonant. Double you see, one, two. Hope. That's what T. And then nap. To take a nap is double P. Siesta. Nap. 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 Uh -huh. Nap. How do I write nap in pass? Nap. Nap. It. Nap. Nap. Mm -hmm. I double nap. the consonant. Worry. How do I write worry? Change worry. the Y. Change the Y for I. And ed 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 worried. Mm -hmm. And Mary, how I write Mary? Married. Mm -hmm. Married. Good. Good job. Okay. Now these are the verbs. This is in present in the base form, and this is in past. Good. Uno. I will see the chat. Yeah, hop. Anna Ericelda. That one is in present. Ese es en presente. Está en pasado. Worried. Se, worried. se le pasó la, la S. Es una de worried. Mm -hmm. But thank you for trying. Gracias por intentarlo. Yeah, mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Perfect. Worried. Perfect. Okay, good. Now we're going to go to the next one. And okay. I have to erase it because if not, it's, it appears in the next one. Tengo que borrarla porque aparece en la siguiente. Así que vamos a la siguiente. I will erase it. But in the video, it's going to be there, okay? Okay. Now, these ones are, can you help me reading? Irregular. Irregular. 
verbs. Verbs. Mm -hmm. Irregular. The previous ones were regular. Verbos regulares. Estos son verbos irregulares. Irregular. And it says, help me read in, please. Everybody. Irregular verbs. Have, have different forms. Have different forms. Have different forms. In the simple past. In the in simple, simple past. past. Have different forms. In the simple For example, past. We say sing, sang, bring, brought, we, win, won, do. We, did have had okay now have, okay. Have. Mm -hmm. so we, as you can see on these ones they change completely we don't add ed do we have to add ed no okay if you write if you for some reason forget it and you write for example I want to do this. This is a wrong example. If I write, what is it? If I write zinged, that's not a, that's signed. That means totally different. Sign, that means firmo and sign. But this is not uh, the way we do it. We do it, the past is going to be Zang, nor id. This is not the way that we mm. have to do it. Este no, no es correcto. Si lo hacemos así, es incorrecto. Okay. So, right. if we... we in these verbs, we cannot add id. No les podemos agregar ed. El verbo cambia completamente. Mente. Uh -huh. Win, won, did, do, did, have, had. Okay, good. Okay. Questions about it? Okay, I'm gonna say the verb and you're going to tell me the past. Ready? Ready. You have to tell me Ready. if it is regular or irregular. Work. Regular verb. Regular. regular. Now tell me the past. Work. 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 Okay. Now I'm going to say it a verb and you have to say it in the past. Play. Play. Played. Mm -hmm. Played. Played. Perfect. Another one. Type. Type. I like to type on my phone or type it. Ah, uh, type it. Type. Type. Mm -hmm. type. 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 How would you write the past of type? I'm gonna write type. What is the rule for that one? Add a D. Mm -hmm. Typed. Mm -hmm. We have to add the D. 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 What if I Poly say cry? What, which would be the pass of cried? Cry. 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 I cried every morning. Okay. Cried. Let's see another verb. And this is going to answer, I want to say specific names. Okay, this is going to be for, I'm going to say, what's the word? I want to talk. And it's going to tell me which is the past, Joanna Araceli, which is the past. Ana Aracel is not here. Adriana Guadalupe, or let me see. I'm gonna say. 
para Mary. What would be the pass of talk? Talk. Talked. Uh -huh. Talked. Talked. Mm -hmm. We are ED. Uh -huh. Talk. Talk. And we are ED. Good. Win. Which is the past? Everybody. Win. One. 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 Mm -hmm. The other one. Uh, sing. Sound. 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 Sing. Sound. Mm -hmm. Sound. Good. A study. A study. A study. Yeah. Good. Okay. Study. Good job. Now we're going to go back. And okay. Now we're going to see questions and answers because that's something that you have been doing. And sometimes is uh, this is using did. The auxiliary verb in past is not do or does anymore. We use did. Ya no va a ser do or does, porque do y does es en presente. It's in present. And now when we do in past, we use did. 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 And it's almost the same way. The structure is the same, exactly the same in present and past. The only difference is that we use the auxiliary verb, did. And we use did for all the subjects. Usamos did para todos los sujetos, para I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. It's going to be did. Did. Which is the subject, the auxiliary verb that we're going to use in past? Did. Which one? Did. 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 Do I have to change it with he, she, and it? No. No. No, no changing. Mm -mm. So, we write did. The auxiliary verb plus, help me, auxiliary verb, subject. Verb in the base form. Base form. Important. Plus. Mm -hmm. plus Verb in the base form. Base form. Plus form. And the question mark. Mm -hmm. Question mark. Eso es súper importante. Cuando usamos el verbo auxiliar en pasado, el verbo principal va en la forma base o la forma original o la raíz del verbo. It's going to be as it is in present. For example, did you work last week? The verb, do I have to add ed? Tengo que agregarle ed? No. 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 Okay. Now, in the affirmative answer, we can do it short, like, yes, I did. That's the short way. Esa es la forma corta. Or we can say it like long, and then I say, yes, I did. And I can say, I worked last week. Oh, I, I missed the period there, sorry. I wanna fix it. Cause I don't like when my students don't write it right. <laughs> okay. So I worked last week. That's affirmative. Estamos usando afirmativas en una respuesta corta y una respuesta larga. En la afirmativa usamos en pasado el verbo. Yes or not? Yes. Verb in past? Yes. In the affirmative, we use the verb in past. Okay, now the next answer, no, I didn't. No, I didn't is the short way. Esa es la forma corta. Y la forma larga es, I didn't work last week. Can you notice something there? Oops. 
Can you notice something there? Puedes ver algo en ese? In the negative answer, the, ver the main verb is um, present because we are using didn't. Exactly. In the negative answer, because we already used the auxiliary verb did, so the verb is in, in present. Mm -hmm. You see, we don't add ed. Is in present. Present. So, Work in the interrogative and negative, the verb is going to be, is going to be in present. ¿En qué forma va a estar? Cuando usamos interrogativas y negativas, va a ir el verbo en la forma. Va. Original. Original. O la original. Perfecto. Solo cambia y usamos en pasado cuando es en afirmativo. Afirmativo. And for you to remember, you already know, but did not is the same as say, as you say didn't. It's the contracted form of the verb, of, of the um, auxiliary verb and not. Did not, we say didn't. And we almost always use didn't. It's really weird that we use did not. Almost always when you read, when you see things is didn't. Okay. Any questions? No. Okay. That is totally clear then. Then we are ready to practice. You ready to put into practice what you already learned? ¿Están listos para practicar? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Are you ready? Good, good, good. I, I, um, my, yeah, there it is. It disappears and then I cannot find it to erase. Now I'm ready. So now we're going to do the breakup rooms that you are ready for. for, for, for. And it says make five sentences using verbs in past. So you're going to write, write sentences. These have to be affirmative. That it has to be using verbs in past. It can be regular or irregular verbs. Okay, let me see. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask someone who can help me. What are we gonna do? Um, paddle. What are we gonna do? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer en el breakup room? In the breakup room. Make five sentence uh, using for um, uh, using verb in past. Past. Yes. Good. Okay. Do we have to use only regular verbs, or we can use regular and irregular verbs? Both. Yeah. Both. Are we going to make it affirmative, negative, or interrogative? Yeah, you say for affirmative, I think. Affirmative, mm -hmm. We're gonna work on the affirmative sentences. How many? Five. Five, easy peasy, five sentences. That's gonna be a piece of cake. Okay, ready? If you Ready. remember that you can raise your hand and I will help you. Si necesitan ayuda en el breakup room, hay un icono donde podemos pedir ayuda y yo puedo llegar. Quiero ver, it says raise hands. When I see if I, it, it appears in here. Hmm. I think I think I don't have it in mine. And you can raise your hand or do something and then I, I'm gonna be able to go. Yes, 
everybody know how to use the hand for help? Todos saben cómo usar la manita cuando se necesita ayuda? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay, good. Yeah, you are masters in computer systems and things. <laughs> okay, good. Ready then. Okay, I'm going to send you to a breakup room. One, I'm going to make 10. Okay, bye-bye. I am well, alone. Okay, I'm going to a different one. Because Edwin is supposed to be here. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, but he's not connected. I want to say hi to Edwin. Hi, hi. So, <laughs> hi, good. So you have someone to work with. Okay. Thank you for asking for help. Hi, Edwin. Hi. Uh, ¿Comienzo? Yes. Okay. I cooked pizza last night. Okay. I played the guitar in the meeting. I worked very hard last week. I bought a TV last year. I cleaned my house last weekend. I painted my garden yesterday. I okay. Painted. painted, but you did a good job. Painted my garden. Mm -hmm. Good. Good, good. Okay. okay. Um, the... Eso estaba haciendo, estoy planteando. Uy, la teacher. I scare you. No, I spanté. <laughs> no, only he, teacher. <laughs> okay. No, qué terrible. You can do it, Harold. I am waiting for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. So, you can practice. I want to join yes, another teacher. group. Okay. I want to let you be. Okay, need it. Do you need me to tell you how to start or do you need help? Um, we, we started, uh, it's a tour of, of Harold. <laughs> okay, Harold, Harold's turn. <laughs> it's hard Harold's to say Harold. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, good. So, a guitar, right? A guitar. Sí, right? Yes. Do, okay. You play a guitar. Tú tocas una guitarra. The, the guitar. Mm -hmm. Sí, verdad. <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah. a. You can say I played. The, I play? played. the guitar. The guitar. <laughs> mm -hmm. O sea, esa sería la contestación. No, cómo. No, ese es uh, oraciones afirmativas. afirmativas. Es decir, yo toqué Toco. la guitarra. Ah, en el pasado. I play. Y yo digo, ajá, en pasado. Ajá, Estamos haciendo en pasado. Uh -huh. Ah, entonces sería, cuando él dijo, I drink water no. I drank, no sería. Sería, I drink. I drank milk. I drank. What did you say? Uh -huh. Drank is drunk. in the past. Water. Uh -huh. Yo tomé agua, ¿verdad? Oh, water, sí. Water. Uh -huh. I drank I... water. Drink, I... drunk. Drum. ¿Y cómo se pone el drum? <laughs> well, um, D. D. R. R. D. R. A. N. K. Drunk. I drank water. Yesterday. Yesterday. Or 
or today in the afternoon or in the afternoon today yeah. después de clase yeah sí y qué otra I go to the movie antes yesterday. de las clases it has to say antes because it's already past cuando ah, hablamos del ah, pasado ya before. pasó si ya digo pasó. después va a ser futuro Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Entonces, I okay. go to the movie yesterday. I went. Went. Ah, went. Uh -huh. I went yeah. to the movies to the movie yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to. Um, in my case, I dance it while my sister. I. Uh -huh. I danced. I danced. I danced. Uh -huh. Because dance. Es, le agrega la D. Mm, dance. I dance. I dance. With my sister. I dance with my with, sister. With my sister. Mm. Wow. Bien. Hi. Hola. Hi, Astrid and Ed, Edgardo. Long time without, see, without seeing, seeing you. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia live en inglés del verbo vivir? Lived. 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 Uh, what, what lived. Lived. Uh -huh. con, va como con, va con un, um, con un sonido de D al final. I lived in, y dice dónde vivió. I live in... Uh, England, por ejemplo, I live in England um, last year. Mm -hmm. eh, Los verbos eh, en pasado son difíciles de pronunciar. They are hard to pronounce. Sí, es difícil. Yeah, it is not easy, but you can do it. <laughs> okay. How are you doing? Did you finish already? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, I'm going to just visit one more breakup room and I'm going to be done. Okay. Bye. See you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, okay. Well. And here we're are practicing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you already yeah. finish? Sorry? ¿Ya terminar? Yes. Poco a poco. Yes. ¿Hago una pregunta yo, Herbert? Yes. Okay. Okay. Did you, did you call your mother yesterday? Did you call? Your microphone, teacher. Okay, I want to ask, ask a question just to be sincere with yourself. And I want to say it in, in Spanish. ¿Cuántos de ustedes se saben los sonidos de, la, de las letras? Sonidos de las letras en español. Los sonidos. Póngame su dedo arriba si se saben los sonidos de las letras. Más o menos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, this is what am I asking that is because sometimes we don't know the sounds of the letters in Spanish. But we need to know the sounds and we don't know the sounds of the letters in English. And for the pronunciation of the verbs in the past, we need to know the sounds of the letters in English. We learn the names. Todos aprendemos los nombres de, los, de las letras, pero casi nunca aprendemos los sonidos de las, de las, 
de las letras. Y en inglés necesitamos saber los sonidos de las letras para muchas veces saber cómo se pronuncia el verbo en pasado. Si va con D, con T o con ID. Either. Pero, that's, I'm going to look for a video and I'm going to send it through WhatsApp for you to know a little bit and I'm going to send the sounds of the letters in English. Voy a enviar los sonidos de las letras en inglés. But I cannot do it here, so I'm going to send it to WhatsApp. And that's why I ask. And don't take it bad because I didn't know it. No la sabía, yo no sabía las letras, de, no sabía el sonido de muchas letras en español hasta que me tocó enseñarlas. But that's not our fault. And it's the way that we learn. And I'm not going to blame teachers because being a teacher is not easy. Okay, now we're going to continue. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Now, you're writing the affirmative sentences. In the affirmative sentence, do we have the verb in past or in present? Past. 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 Now, we are going to do questions using did. Vamos a hacer preguntas usando el did. ¿Qué vamos did. a usar? Did. 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 And remember that the verb is going to be in present. For example, did you play soccer yesterday play is in present not in past because we use did did you eat lunch comiste almuerzo eat is not gonna be a did you eat lunch that's not the way we have to say did you eat lunch i want to write it in the chat because sometimes it's better to write it too so did to eat lunch yesterday. Yesterday. And remember the question mark. How do we answer that question? ¿Cómo respondemos a esa pregunta? I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask someone. Let me see. Mm, who is ready for answering? Or a volunteer. I don't, I don't like to call people. Un voluntario. Yes, I did. I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I, did. I ate. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh -huh. And in a negative form, no, I, I didn't. didn't. But how I answer in an affirmative form, but not the short one, the long one, no la corta. Yes. 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 I yes, I, I ate, ate lunch I yesterday. Ate lunch yesterday. Or I can ate. say I ate lunch yesterday. yesterday. That's lunch affirmative. Yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I didn't eat my lunch yesterday. Good. I Remember that it lunch. has to be in present. So a question? No? Are you ready? Or um, do you want to choose someone to work? Well, maybe at the end of the course, I'm going to let you choose with the person that you want to work. Yes. Al final del curso, los puedo dejar que escojan con quien quieren trabajar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to send you to the breakout room. What are we going to do? Look. Questions. Preguntas. Mm -hmm. Usando ah. qué? Did? Did. 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 Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Ready? Me. Set, go. Okay.
Teacher. Yes. Uh, I am only. I'm going to move you to room six. Okay. Just for sure, answer or complete answer? <laughs> okay, Juan. Okay, Make a question. I did my one. Okay. Do you need help, Juan? Usamos did. Para preguntar, did, después el sujeto, ¿qué sujeto quiere usar? What subject do you want to use? Did, you, porque le está preguntando a ella, did you, y agrega el verbo, ¿qué quiere preguntarle? Le voy a ayudar. O si sabe cómo hacerla. Mm, ejercitarse. Did no es verbo. Exercise, sí. Did you, you exercise yesterday? No, I didn't. <laughs> Me neither. I didn't exercise yesterday. I don't I like to exercise. exercise yesterday. <laughs> okay. Today. Ahora usted solito. Vamos a ver, Juan. ¿Cómo le dije? ¿Cuál es el verbo auxiliar? Va a usar did. ese para todo. Uh -huh. did, 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 did you drive a car? No, I didn't. I can't drive. I can't drive. Okay. I yeah. I never learned to drive. You have never driven. Driving is dangerous, actually. That's a good thing. I I would like to learn, but mm -hmm. I can't. I, uh, I really okay. can't. <laughs> I'm going to leave you guys. Good job. Thank you for okay. practicing. Yes, I visited my grandmother the last weekend. Okay. Did you live in program? Did you, did you, yes, did you what? Did you live in program? ¿Qué quiere decir? Did you live in? The program. Programa. ¿Cuál programa? Mm. ¿Cómo se llama este? El de... Viva la mañana. Ah, ¿qué le quiere preguntar? Did you watch the program? Yes. Ah, did you watch? Mm -hmm. Did you watch the program? Viva la mañana. Mm -hmm. Okay. I Good. didn't watch the program. I didn't watch. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Okay, we have to leave because it's it's almost time. See you in the main room. See you, sir.
Teacher, you're you're Michael. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I want to leave you a homework for the if you don't know at least 10 verbs, the most common ones. Si no se saben por lo menos 10 verbos, los más comunes, cómo decirlos y cómo escribirlos, please practice them. Practiquen porque eso les va a ayudar un montón. Like eat, play, walk, talk. talk. And that is going to make your life easy. Drink, dance. Dance, drink. Drink water for sure or coffee, okay? <laughs> okay, so please, if you don't know them, do it. Because I know it's not our language and it is not easy to learn English. But do it because you need to. Every day, at least you should learn two new verbs or one, at least one. Cada día deberían de aprender un verbo nuevo o por lo, por lo menos uno para que se les vaya incrementando el vocabulario. But please work at the platform. Trabajen en la plataforma. Thank you for the ones that are working hard. Gracias, muchísimas gracias por los que están trabajando mucho en la plataforma y los que van ya en el 7.9 o 7.13, que están trabajando súper duro. Hay que trabajar porque acuérdense que tenemos que completar el 80% por lo menos para nuestro certificado y así ya con el cartoncito ya vamos avanzando y avanzando y avanzando. Así que a ponerse las pilas y gracias a todos por los que están trabajando. Así que see you on Monday. You have three okay. days of vacation. Tres días de vacación. <laughs> okay, see you next week. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye.